गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी वेलकम टू द क्लास थ्री ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड मशीन लर्निंग इन टूडेज क्लास लेटेस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ ए आई लेटेस्ट स्टार्ट विथ ट्यूरिंग अवार्ड विनर्स लिस्ट मर्वन मिन्स्की एंड जॉन मेकर्ते डिफाइन फाउंडेशन ऑफ द फील्ड ऑन रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड रीजनिंग नेवल एंड सिमॉन डेवलप्ड सिम्बॉलिकल मॉडल आ प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड ह्यूमन कग्निशन फेजन बम एंड राज रेडी डेवलप्ड एक्सपर्ट सिस्टम दट एनकोड ह्यूमन नॉलेज टू साल्व अ रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम जुडेक पर्ल प्रपोज प्रोबेबलिस्टिक रीजनिंग टेक्निक ब्रंजियो हिंटन एंड लिकन डेवलप्ड डीप लर्निंग इन द इयर टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन लेट अस्टार्ट विद द इनसेप्शन ऑफ ए आई अ डिकेड बिटवीन नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टी फाइव द फर्स्ट वर्क दैट इज नाउ जनरली रिकग्नाइज एज ए आई वॉज डन बै वैरन मेक्लॉ एंड वॉल्टर पिट्स दे ड्रीव ऑन थ्री सोर्सेस नॉलेज ऑफ बेसिक फिजियोलॉजी एंड फंक्शन ऑफ न्यूरोन्स a formal analysis of propositional logic turing's theory of computation they conducted a experiment on collection of neurons where each neuron could be turned to on and off based on the stimulation of neighboring neurons the same experiment was called as habian learning and the same habian learning was nowadays called as convolution neural network during 1950 two students from harvard marvan minsky and dean edmund built a first neural network called snark by using 3000 vacuum tubes and a surplus atomic pilot mechanism from b24 bomber to stimulate a network of 40 neurons in the same year alan turing stressed on computing machine and intelligence where he introduced turing test machine learning genetic algorithms reinforcement learning it would be he also defined that it would be easy to create a human level intelligence by learning algorithm let us understand what has happened during 1956 that has given birth to artificial intelligence mccarthy convinced minsky shannon and rochester to help him bring together us researchers interested in automata theory neural networks and study of intelligence they organized two month workshop at dartmouth in the summer of 1952 where the objective was uh, just to understand how machines use language abstraction and concept solve a kind of problem now reserved for human and improve themselves on let us understand logic theoristic proposed by nevel and simon it is based on initial hypothesis branch which is a set of rules for deduction and goal state a theorem to be proved it has proved 38 out of 52 theorems in chapter 2 of principia mathematica let us uh, understand what it is it is a simple you know rule based deduction which will come to a conclusion the initial hypothesis is socrates is man what is a rule now men are male men are human so based on this rule initial hypothesis got converted into socrates is male based on this rule the hypothesis got converted into socrates is a human now another rule is humans are mortal so this uh, hypothesis got converted into socrates is mortal now this logic theoristic is based on syllogism concept of aristotle let us uh, go to our next decade early enthusiasm great expectation 1952 to 1969 when computer got designed people were thinking that they are designed to do a one particular task but ai researchers they started using computers uh, to solve the game puzzles mathematics and iq then this is how it has laid a foundation for ai nevel and simon proposed general problem solver which was thinking like a human being to solve any particular task that is it was using the sub goal and possible action to solve any given particular task now later on they also demonstrated that along with this computer should use a physical symbolic system which is necessary and sufficient mean of general intelligent action because human brain works on the basis of symbols so this uh, physical symbols should also be incorporated into the system right from 1952 onwards there were set of uh, ai programs that have come into existence where arthur samuel wrote a series of program for checker game in mit ai lab macker they defined high level language lisp that went on to dominate next 30 years of uh, ai during the same year macker they published a paper entitled programs with common sense 
in which he described advice taker a hypothetical program that can be seen as a first complete ai system during 1959 herbert uh, constructed geometric theorem prover which was able to prove theorems of mathematics that student would find it quite tricky then saint program came in the year 1963 which was able to solve closed form calculus integration problems typically a first year college course then we got analogy program which used to solve geometric analogy problems that appeared in the iq test student program was able to solve algebraic story problems such as uh, let us take an example let us say whenever tom does a advertisement he is going to get squ the square of 20% of the number of advertisement as a customer okay now when he tom advertises 45 advertisements how many number of customers tom may get so it is a story based on the story can you solve something so th that is called a student program during 1971 again a major breakthrough where computer system were able to identify the blocks and put it in the open box let us assume that i give a instruction to a computer program saying that uh, identify and pick the block which is twice the height of this this image right so computer would go pick the item and then put it in the open box this a uh, block world was a home to vision project of david huffman the vision and constraint propagation work of david walls a learning theory of patrick winston a natural language understanding program of terry winograd and planner of scott during 1974 hubs learning as i told it was again taken forward by um, a researcher frank uh, which was called as ada line perceptron convergence theorem came into existence during 1962 which says that learning algorithm can adjust the connection strength of perceptron to match any input data provided such match exist so that is one uh, good thing about uh, cnn algorithms now coming to the next decade 1966 to 1973 a dose of reality visible future simon has predicted during 1973 that in coming 10 years computer is going to beat a world chess champion but it did not happen it happened only after 40 years you can just understand people based on the initial ai programs they got lot of enthusiasm that they started predicting that it can be a general problem solver but it could not happen right now let us understand why the initial ai programs failed the first reason ai systems were based on informed inspection they did not consider critical analysis and algorithm what is informed inspection the way human being human brain thinks to solve a problem that is informed inspection so these early ai system did not consider critical analysis and algorithm second reason intractability of any uh, many problems that ai was trying to solve intractability means whenever a problem is given to the ai system it would take lot of time to solve it or it may not solve it third reason early ai systems worked effectively for micro world programs a, a problem with smaller inputs they used to work effectively and could not scale well whenever a huge data is given they failed the last reason basic structure used to represent the intelligent nature was based on the perceptron which limited in representing limited data now coming to the next decade 1969 to 1986 the expert system was developed early ai system had adopted general purpose search mechanism to solve the problem which proved to be weak as it did not scale up on the large data as i said early ai systems were solving the problem which are of very small size and they are uh, with a single goal the first kind of difficulty arose because most early programs knew nothing about the subject matter they did not know about subject matter they succeeded by means of simple syntactic manipulation as i said logic theoristic is based on the simple syntactic manipulation so based on these small examples they used to work the alternative to weak method is used to use more powerful domain specific knowledge system that allows larger reasoning steps and can easily handle typical occurring cases in narrow expertise 
to solve the more hard problem you must know the result dendral program was an example of this type expert systems are more knowledge intensive systems stanford began heuristic programming project to understand how new methods of expert system can be applied to other areas then mycin was introduced it was a system to diagnose a blood infection based on 450 rules this was better than junior doctors which employed calculus uncertainty called certainty factor to fit well with how doctors diagnose on the impact of evidence on the diagnosis so expert system if you compare it with the early ai system it was more you know more knowledge based it was using more more and more knowledge it was using more and more rules now coming to the next uh, decade 1980 to present ai become a industry standard the first successful commercial expert system began operation at digital equipment corporation during 1982 this program helped configure orders for new computer system by 1986 it was saving companies estimated dollar 40 million a year this is a great achievement by 1988 uh, digital equipment corporations ai group had 40 expert system deployed with more than a way dupont had 100 in use and 500 in development saving estimated dollar 10 million a year nearly every major us corporation had their ai group and they invested lot of money on investigation of expert systems in 1981 japanese announced fifth generation project a 10 year plan to build a intelligent computers running prolog now coming to the return of neural network in mid 1918 four groups reinvented back propagation learning algorithm <coughs> and they applied on the many learning problems in computer science and psychology the widespread dissemination of these result in collection of parallel distributed processing caused great experimentation they have a capability to learn from the example that is a good thing about neural networks these connectionist models were competitors to symbolic model proposed by neval and simon and logistic approach of mccarthy as human manipulate symbols now see this neural network started considering uh, symbols for manipulation these connectionist can compare predicted true value to expected output and can modify their parameters to decrease the difference they are, they are like reinforcement based learning they they'll provide input there is algorithm they get output based on the output feedback again comes back to the input stage and they try to adjust themselves so this is how neural networks work now coming to the uh, decade uh, which has introduced probabilistic reasoning and machine learning 1987 to present brittleness of expert system led to incorporation of new more scientific approaches we got you know people started using probability more in place of boolean logic they started using machine learning rather than hand coding experimental result rather than philosophical claims sooner you know the progress was very good uc irwin was used as a standard repository for machine learning data set the people who do research in machine learning they started using this as a data set the international planning competitions for planning algorithm started liber speech Uh, was become a corpus for speech recognition mn ist data set was a data set for digital recognition image net and coco dat uh, coco data set was image object recognition research squared for nlp answering so these have become a standard data set from 1987 then we got hidden marco model which has dominated area of speech recognition during 1980 which was based on the real a large corpus of speech data set to ensure performance is robust note that uh, the hidden marco model provides mathematical framework to understand and solve the problem during 1988 which was important year for connection between ai and other field like statistics operation research decision theory and control theory pearls probabilistic reasoning is a intelligent system led to new acceptance of probability and decision theory in the ai pearls bayesian network elded rigorous and efficient formalization for representing uncertain knowledge as well as practical algorithm for probabilistic reasoning rich sutan's reinforcement learning was a major contribution in the year 1988 coming to the 2001 to present uh, 
you know 20th century big data came we all know what is big data and what is the reason behind big data two reasons the first one is the the scaling of www that is internet and advancement in the computing power has led to big data what is big data it is a large corpus of data that comes in a bigger volume velocity and variety so we have both collection of structured unstructured data the amount of data that gets generated nowadays is huge you say whatsapp twitter facebook these three you know businesses are generating lot of data uh, maybe you know uh, in a second several terabytes of data we cannot assume now this big data has you know given rise to they have given more importance to ml algorithm so the reason behind ml algorithms success is big data now let us understand what what big data has it includes trillions of words of text billions of images billions of hours of speech and video vast amount of genomic data vehicle tracking data social networking data these big data have opened up lot of opportunity for ml algorithms big data was crucial for factor in 2011 a victory of ibm's watson system over human champion in job parody quiz game so 2011 ibm made its machine beat a, a, a champion based on big data now coming to the uh, deep learning deep learning refers to machine learning using multiple layers of simple adjustable computing elements during 1970 experiments were conducted in the name of cnn's theory found some success in the handwritten recognition imagenet computation in 2012 which required classifying images into one of the thousand categories so lot of images were given there were thousand different classes and this computation has opened up ai program that could classify these images deep learning came into existence has reported gain in the speech recognition machine translation medical diagnosis and game playing the use of deep learning network to represent evolution function contributed to alpha go's victory over leading human go player during 2016 2017 and 2018 with this i conclude thank you so much